connect Google Drive account, join friends and a secret room. Don't blink because you're going to miss something. Have you seen what these guys are doing? Because that's what I'm going to teach you. How much for this steak? Only $100. Here you go. Thank you very much. Thank you for shopping at Nick and Beam's Cut Mart. Oh my God, he's got a gun. I'm going to teach you how to hook up your Google Drive, link it to your Multiverse Online account so that when you pull up your wrist menu, you'll be able to pull out pictures and do stuff like this. Here's an idea. If you have a company or a business, I've created a little business card. I used Adobe Spark, uploaded it to my Google Drive, and now I can pull it out and I can show people, hey, look, I make YouTube videos. And then they can take a little picture of it, save it in their drive, and come back to it later and be able to search you out. It's like little business cards in the Infiniverse. Open a browser and go to multiverseonline.io. In here, you're gonna wanna go to your drives, make sure that you're signed in to your account, Go to your drives, and inside your drives, you're gonna be able to see your photos. This is the photos that you take when you hold down B for two seconds and it snaps those pictures. This is where they're stored. And you can look at them in here. Here's Beam again. Look at him, he's playing the guitar. So make sure that you're in here in the drives. You notice I already have one Google Drive account linked up. To hook up another account, you just click this link down here. Link another drive. You click it. Now you can choose the account you want to link up to it. And when it pulls up this screen, it's going to ask you if you trust the multiverse. You hit continue. And now your Google Drive is hooked up. Go to my files, double click it. And here's that little business card that I uploaded. Once you have uploaded a picture to your Google Drive account, this is how you access it. Pull up your wrist menu. You go to me and then down to my content. In your content, you're going to see your files and your photos. Pick your file. I mine's in Galatian, I cruise it down, and here is that business card I made. You can pull it out, stretch it out. There's also another trick I wanna show you. Go near a screen, and you can put it on there. With your middle finger, grab the picture. When you grab the picture, walk over to the screen. Now you're gonna use your middle finger and your trigger finger. So grab it with your middle and pull the trigger and it's going to put that picture right on any screen, even your friend's screen. So I'm gonna teach you how to join friends, but there's something we need to understand first. There's a term that the developers use called shards. A shard is a layer of the Infiniverse that only about 12 people can fit in at a time. When this shard fills up, another shard is created, another Infiniverse that's still all connected, but it's just to facilitate different people. So when this shard fills up with 12, it creates a new shard that fills up with 12. It creates a new shard that fills up with 12. And this is maybe why you've experienced the inability to connect with a friend, even though you logged on at the same time and went through the door at the same time. Or maybe you've tried to join a friend and got the little picture that says that this room is full. Let's take a look what it's like to connect with a friend. First thing you wanna do is open up your menu on your wrist. And I always go to people. This is gonna tell you who's actually online. If there's a heart by it, you'll see that your friends are online. Now I'm going to pick my buddy here, Beam. And then if you notice, it opens up his little profile. You can add him as a friend, which I've already done. You can mute him, report him if he's being bad. Or I can join him and I love the dude, so I'm gonna hit join. Now when we hit join, it may just take me to the same shard. The shards that we talked about earlier, I'm gonna end up on the same shard as him, or I may end up in his house if he is actually in a house. So here he is, as normal, decorating stuff. What up, babe? Welcome to the show. And oh yeah, wait, let's tell everybody, if you're cool, the first thing you do when you see your friend is three high fives. One, two, three. That's how you know you're the homies. <laughs> what you doing in here? Can you see this? Oh my gosh, you're getting legit. Oh, snap, you're making a kitchen. <laughs> oh, dude, that's hilarious. Are you doing it for TikTok? Nah, I'm just trying to master it so I can put it together fast in someone's apartment. If you guys don't know who Beam is, check him out at Tommy Beam Past. He's on TikTok. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go bounce and try to do this shard thing. So we entered Beam's house and he was just in his house, so it just took me directly to his little metaverse inside the Infiniverse's little apartment. 
So let's find somebody else to join and let's see if we end up in the Infiniverse on, a, on the same shard but in a different location. Hit join. Hear that awesome noise. Everything goes dark. And we bounce. I'm in here with my grandma right now. So you notice yeah, that hey, go in, go we joined them, but they're not yeah. around us. We just ended yeah. up at the bottom floor right. of Beam's house. And so now I'm going to oh, go yeah, up here, nice look for cool. Carlos, and then I hit join again. Now this is going to bring us right next to him. And there they are. What's up, hey. y'all? Where's Carlos? Hey, my bad, brother. My, my, headset, my, headset, my headset died when I was about to talk to you. That's OK. If you're getting value out of this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Now there's a secret room that the developers can take you to. We were lucky enough to go on that journey. And this is what it looks like. And what you're gonna see is the future of how clean the Infiniverse is going to be as they continue to progress and grow and grow and continue to work on it. This is beta. There is no official release date yet. As the shooting of this video, the population has increased to 100,000. Bonus footage and a conversation with the developers. All right, I'm going. I'm going for the water. I like the water one. <laughs> and this is supposed to be implemented in more or areas. Man, he just turned your spot. He was in here teaching us stuff. He just came in here, man, and just went went ham. What we will be doing is the ground floor um, shops that you can see here. Those uh -huh. are different to the ground floor apartments, that are, for example, over here. And yep, those yep. are going to be uh, possible to buy in a domain like you do with web pages where you purchase it and then by uh -huh. having a Metaverse subscription, you'll be able to keep it. So, for example, if you have a premium or business account, you will be able to purchase a ground floor uh, shop. Is it, all, and is it, have, is it uh, available now? Not yet. We're in the process of setting that up. That's one of the next things from a feature point of view that we will be adding. Um, the skyscrapers okay. will be provided only for the business and the enterprise clients. So those will be um, purchasable based upon the value of the building in the current location. And you will need a business or an enterprise subscription to own one. And that's our current thinking and that's how we're looking at doing that. When you, when you plan to open those? Sorry, I'll just answer Frederick first. I can't tell you exactly when, um, huh. because, like I say, there's a lot of issues that we need to solve. Luckily, I think the right. service are now solved, but we'll have to wait and see. It's high on our priority list, one of the first things that we will be doing. We will be sending out emails to people that have uh, Metaverse subscriptions and letting them know, and we will also be um, uh, announcing it on the Discord channel when we do do that. Um, and we will probably okay. even give some notices inside the app. But that's something that um, I can't tell you when yet. But hopefully soon. And when I say soon, I'm talking hopefully within the next couple of weeks, but no guarantee. Great, thank How you. How are you doing with the walk through walls glitch? Uh, we're sure that you don't walk through walls. We're telling you off yeah. when you do. Um, Viper, I think you had a question. Oh, Viper, you just did it, you naughty Viper. <laughs> um, so my question was, I, I, actually, I actually did not know that was a thing, I just tested it out. Um, so do you know these blue buildings with the Metaverse logos on, are they the ones that are like the planetarium in them and stuff? Yeah, so we have, internally we have uh, different categories of content. We have the apartments, which are in the apartment building, and some of the apartment buildings have shops or storefronts at the bottom. Um, and then we have skyscrapers, which is something like the business buildings, and then we have the super skyscrapers, which are the ones about down in the top. And the super skyscrapers are um, enterprise only, and also for our own categories of like the planetarium and things like that. Mm -hmm. The skyscrapers are going to be ones that will be available for businesses and enterprises. Um, so, stay tuned for more videos on the Infiniverse.
Peace.